It's the moment of truth in St. Louis, the final game of the World Series. Things start popping for the cards in the fourth. Tim McCarver bounces to a force at second, but the throw to first is wild, and the first cardinal run is across as Yankee defenses crumble. Ken Boyer goes first blood, Mel Stottlemyre pitching to Dal Maxville, and the cards pull a double steal that sends McCarver streaking home. When Maxville singles home the third run, the cards go ahead in this fourth frame. And there they stay until they are crowned world champs in the night. The Yankees attempt a comeback in the sixth as Mickey Mantle hits a home run to the opposite field with two men on. This gives the Yankees their first three runs, but the St. Louis underdogs still lead six to three. Ken Boyer, Cardinal hero of an earlier game with a bases loaded homer, comes up with another Cardinal four-bagger to make it seven to three. The Yanks cause a flurry in the hearts of the hometown fans with two homers in the ninth inning. But Bob Gibson bears down on Bobby Richardson. Gibson gets Bobby to pop out, and for the first time since 1946, the St. Louis Cardinals win the World Series, a series that will be replayed time and again through the long, cold winter.